star motorcycles? We got them. Rhino side by sides? Got them too. Grizzly ATVs? Yep, got them. Yamaha? Got them all. If you're thinking Yamaha, come to Falls River Motorsports, where it's all good. Hello and welcome to LA Rider. I'm Sandy Michelet and you're watching Louisiana's number one primetime motorcycle magazine show. Well, we're coming to you tonight from American Cycle Accessories. And let me tell you, this is the first week in March and bikers all over the place are getting excited for Daytona Bike Week 2008. Hundreds of thousands of bikers make the trek to Florida each year. And Tammy Arnder tells us that this year is no different because it's even bigger and even better. Thanks, Sandy. We sure do wish you were here. It is incredible. We're on Main Street in Daytona, and of course, it is Bike Week, the Super Bowl of all biking rallies, right? Well, it's been an incredible trip, and we want to kind of give you an overview of what Bike Week is all about, because as you can imagine, this is like our version of Mardi Gras. It's just that the floats and the motorcycles and the paint schemes are the costumes. Now, if you've never been to Bike Week, the first thing you need to prepare yourself for are the sheer numbers. Not hundreds, not thousands, but hundreds of thousands of motorcycles. They are everywhere you look. Bike Week is big, really big, and the 66th annual celebration was no exception. The first place you may want to head is Main Street. You can literally spend an entire day here and not see it all. There's food and drink, and of course, plenty of shops featuring motorcycles motorcycle clothing and novelty items. Everything from junk to jewels, as T.W. Lovey and I found out. Nice looking belts, huh? Well, I'm not sure we were ready for the prices. I guess the size of this guy's calculator should have given us a clue. 16,500. 16,500? Oh, that's much more. And I'll go with the belt. Okay, uh, could one of you guys... But now, why is it so expensive? It's coral. Does it go if y'all have $16,500 so I could not borrow just to buy this belt? <laughs> well, we didn't buy the belts, but we did pose for pictures with our newfound fans. We all did buy sunglasses, though, just to make him feel better. Yes, you can find just about anything along Main Street. There's an awful lot to see. And oh, yeah, there's plenty of that, too. But this is a family show. On Main Street, the traffic almost never stops. A rolling motorcycle show with everything from choppers and cruisers to sport bikes and scooters and some things you can't quite describe. Some people park their bikes on Main Street before the festivities begin and leave them there the entire 10 days, sort of like staking out a good place to catch beads along the Mardi Gras parade route. As you can see, it's just motorcycles and a few cars for days and days. About 300,000 people converge on Daytona for Bike Week. And, of course, it's actually a little longer than that as well. And out of the 300,000 or so people that come, you know some folks from Louisiana make it here. And we've been able to run into a few of them from Louisiana and from California with a little Louisiana flavor. Paul Carrick from Sorrento, Louisiana. Ivy Alvarez, Sorrento, Louisiana. Brian Burnett from beautiful downtown Darrow, Louisiana. We had a good day yesterday. We off to a good start today. Um, we're thinking about riding the loop tomorrow. We're going to the dirt track races tonight. Oh, I can't believe this. I've never seen so many motorcycles in my life. I'm having a blast. Time of my life. Oh, uh, we've been here since uh, what? Monday. What, what the heck is today? Monday. I don't even we remember. Lost track. Monday, yeah. Uh, so that means we don't have to go home. We lost track. It's Mac Bomber. What's going on, Mac? Oh, out here just enjoying the show, man. We out here with Deep South Chopper and the Big Bear uh, Choppers and just a hey, big show right here in Daytona, baby. Weather's great. Fantastic. Enjoying it very much. Promote, promoting those LSU Tigers. Yep. Wayne, how, how many times have you been to Daytona? I've been coming since 1990. This is my second year and really enjoying it. He's a rookie. <laughs> Hello, Hello from Bike, Bike Week at Daytona, Daytona Beach, Beach, Florida. Florida. You're watching L.A. Rider. Yay! It's great. The weather is just beautiful. Uh, last Saturday was kind of rough with a lot of rain, but since then it's just great weather. A lot of people uh, really loving the bikes out here. So we're having a good time. 
Dennis and Brad Menino and the rest of the guys from Deep South Choppers were the only Louisiana vendors we found displaying their creations at Bike Week, and their bikes were attracting a lot of attention from the thousands heading up and down Main Street, including this familiar Californian, Hugh King, better known as the Chopper King. All right. Pretty happy down here, a lot of people having fun, you know, like uh, Daytona, what can I tell you? <laughs> King, creator of the Learning Channel's Biker Build-Off and a host of popular motorcycle TV shows, was particularly interested in the Model A bike completed at Sturgis last year. And even though it didn't win the competition, it won King's favor. Who knows, maybe we will be seeing the Bayou Bike Builders on an upcoming episode of the Biker Build-Off. Let's hope so. Before leaving the downtown area, you have to ride Main Street. That's right, you really haven't been to Daytona unless you become part of the parade, and depending on the time of day or night, this seven-block trip can take a while. For L.A. Rider, this is Tammy Arinder.